island is famous for these types of underground tunnels. There are really huge ones that actually can conceal small naval vessels and then there are smaller ones that was more like a safe haven and a defense. Now I also did one on Tsai San which is one of those really big tunnels and you can find that on my blog page. The Zhengong tunnels are much more narrow and the entrance to these tunnels were actually very well hidden. In fact, if I didn't drop my own Google Maps marker, I'm not sure if I would have found this place again because I couldn't find it on Google Maps by myself. If you do get lost, you may want to make your way to a very popular tourist hotspot which is the biggest western style mansion in Kinmen. Everybody knows where this place is. If you get to that house, the tunnels are literally walking distance from this place. In the clip I did on Tsai San tunnels, I mentioned that even if you were claustrophobic, you would be fine in those tunnels due to the sheer size of the tunnels, they are just so huge. Which is not the case with the Zheng Gong tunnels, they are much narrower, the passages are much narrower and there's much less light and it's rather easy to get lost in here. Luckily I'm not claustrophobic, so running around the maze of 620 meter long tunnels was actually quite exciting. In fact, I'm pretty sure these tunnels could easily double as a stage set for Mordor in Lord of the Rings. If you prefer not to wander around and you don't want to get lost, all you need to do is keep to the left. At every intersection that you get, just go left and eventually you'll end up at the beach. The entrance to the tunnel is on a hill just below that western house that I mentioned before. So once you're in the tunnel, it's very much a downward walk until you get to the beach. Once you come out the bottom, there's a huge tank and if you keep walking on a little bit, you'll see some outdoor barracks for soldiers and these were apparently used until very recently. The day we went there it was quite smoggy, but this place is in fact very famous for beautiful sunsets. So if you do happen to be in the area in the late afternoon, you might want to stick around and catch a beautiful sunset. 